While we weep and while we talk about mourning and while we suffer with the Vietnamese for what has happened to them in these cities, we have to recognize that Hanoi Haiphong is not Hiroshima, is not Dresden, is not Nagasaki. The people fought back. They didn't flee in terror. They shot with rifles. They shot with machine guns. They shot with, with missiles and they won, and we have to recognize what this means. B-52s are strategic aircraft that have been invincible. They have been invulnerable up until now. And this is a turning point in the air war. In a very real sense, Nixon's air war has been defeated. The B-52 as a strategic invulnerable weapon has been defeated. 34 B-52s were shot down. This is why Nixon... This is why Nixon is now back at the negotiating tables. This is one of the reasons why. And he can no longer hold over the heads of the Vietnamese. If you don't bow to our demands, we will bomb your cities with B-52s. Because according to the visitors who were there during the bombing, what happened in the streets? Yes, the people were being bombed, but they continued laughing. They continued singing. They continued treating their American guests with humanity and hospitality. They continued to go about their work, and Christmas Day, they evacuated in a good scientific fashion 400,000 people in 24 hours from Hanoi. Imagine trying to do that from this country, from any city in this country. It speaks well for socialism.